Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of the Almost Daily Coaching Vlog. Today we're going to look at a core exercise, uh, which is really, really great. And I hate using the word core because really the core is anything between the elbows, the neck, and the knee. And a lot of people think, well, front planks or side planks. Well, today is technically a plank variation, which you're going to find is actually a true core exercise. Here's how to do it. All we're going to do here, since we are at home, is we are going to use books that we are currently reading or have read in the last couple of weeks. We're going to use these as our weights. Now, normally, if we were in a gym, we would use a two and a half pound weight uh, or we would use 1.25 kilos. Now, all we're going to do here is pretty much we're going to take the lovely Rule number one by Phil Town. You should definitely check out his YouTube channel. We have the investing. Now, the exercise itself, we're going to have our feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, but we're going to have them in a plank position right here. Now, what we want to do is we want to keep our glutes nice and fired and make sure that we are keeping our body in a nice straight line. The number one mistake people make with this exercise is they lift the butt. And we actually, that's part of the exercise that we don't want to do. Now, you'll notice that the books here are even with my wrist on the uh, side closest to you. That's actually not what we want. We want to have the books behind the wrist and with the spine facing towards our reaching hand so we can't cheat. So we're going to start off here. While we're in this position, we're working on a reach. So we're pushing the shoulder blades forward and keeping the shoulder blades down. So this is activating a muscle called the serratus anterior, and this ties into an external oblique and really helps us work on keeping everything nice and stable, especially on the bike or on the run. Now from here, we're going to reach under. Notice how I am flipping the book as I come. I'm not lifting my hips off the ground. Uh, up in the air and now I'm coming back down. I'm going to reset here, shoulder blades back and down and it's a real tough exercise flipping the spine. I really have to work squeezing this glute to keep everything nice and stable. The reach is really important here. I'm reaching. I'm not letting the shoulder blades come up and rounding the back. I'm reaching and keep. The most important part of this exercise is that it is a rotary stability exercise. So we don't want things in the body moving. We don't want to see you twisting side to side. And we sure as heck do not want to see you come and reach or bend the elbow or bend the knee just to get that book. The whole point of this exercise is keeping everything nice and stable while you're going side to side and learning to lock the rib cage and pelvis together by using the serratus anterior, the chest, you'll feel that firing, the back of the shoulder, the rear deltoid, as well as the oblique. <laughs> You can hear I'm a little bit short on oxygen. Just did finished our second virtual session for the day here before this. So it's a short one for today. Make sure you are subscribing down below to the HV Training YouTube channel. Check out all of the exercises we have, but just on at the right time in your strength training routine in order to help you get the benefits it's intended for. So if you're a beginner, let's say you have great plank technique. You're able to hold a front plank for a minute with good technique. You're firing the glutes, activating the abs, using the lats. You may be able to do this in the middle of your workout. If you're an advanced athlete who's able to, you may want to do this at the end of your routine as an anti-rotation exercise or a postural stability exercise, postural endurance exercise. If you're a beginner, you might want to do this at the end of your warm-up when you're freshest because that's going to allow you to get the most out of it. And you may only start with Phil Town or Tim Ferriss. By the way, you should be reading these guys if you're not already. If you're not interested in investing, don't worry. Phil's uh, videos are really down to earth, cool. He's just a nice guy in general. So that's it for today. Make sure you're liking and subscribing down below and head on over to the community tab and fill out the uh, survey that's over there and let me know what types of things you would like to see here on the Almost Daily Coaching Vlog. What we have coming up, more strength training exercises and how to build your mental strength throughout this coronavirus lockdown. So until next time, remember, train smarter, not harder, because it is all about you. I'm going to head on over to my next virtual session. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys probably on Sunday. Maybe we'll do an early morning one tomorrow. We'll see. Take it easy.